a few years ago, there was uh, someone else who found a lot of inspiration in your songs, Dottie. Uh, you had a very special relationship with Elvis Presley. He was like my brother, like a close blood brother. I'd go down and be with him in his shows and stay there and read the Bible with him, read poetry with him. He carried every record we had on the road with him, listened to him all the time. But he'd always say, share lyrics with me. He'd say, where do they come from? Not even where did they come from? I said, Elvis, you've been raised with that spiritual mommy all your life. You know where they come from. He said, I know. I just had to say that. But he was so special. He, he said, I want to buy you a new Cadillac. I want to give you this. I said, Elvis, you don't have a thing I want. Not a thing. I just want to be your sister. And he's, he and I spent so many times together. And I was due to go out to be with him again, packed to go see him. He was doing a tribute to me. And with 12 of my songs on it, we'd sign the contract. And Elvis had just finished one song. That's all he got done. And I turned the radio on. They said Elvis had died. And uh, they asked if we'd come and sing at the funeral. And I said, no, I don't want to. Because things like that sometimes can turn into be a show, mm -hmm. you know. And it's not fair to the family. And so I just didn't go just out of respect to him. We have, um, we have a, a, a group of folks here tonight that were also very close to Elvis Presley. Um, before Elvis was Elvis, he heard the Jordanaires. He heard them on the uh, Eddie Arnold show. And he just begged them, you know, to do backup singing for him. And they worked together on Elvis's very first RCA record and all of the rest. And uh, as they say, the rest is history. Elvis Presley is not with us anymore, but the Jordanaires are still making history. The one and only Jordanaires, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I'm a prisoner. 